We'll now go over study problem 4-3, page 132 from our textbook. Um, let's first uh, figure out what are the givens in the problem. So we are provided with sales figure, cost of goods sold, and operating expenses. Besides, we are also given some extra information such as retained earnings and how many shares outstanding for the firm and dividends per share. Okay. Uh, so given all these, the problem is first asking from us to construct an income statement. We start with our income statement for part A of our problem. Well, on top of our income statement, as you all remember, we have our sales figure. In our case, sales is $400,000. Next, we would have cost of goods sold. And we're lucky, it's given. So, in the amount of $112,000. Well, the difference between sales and cost of goods sold will give us our gross profit. And in our case, it would be $288,000. See that I'm trying to align my numbers on the right side. So, my, I have a pretty decent looking income statement at the end. Next, we should have our... Uh, operating expenses, it's also provided in our problem. Expenses in the amount of $130,000. Doing the difference one more time, we should get our operating income in the amount of 158, I believe this, $158. So we're pretty much done with the first part of the problem. Now though, we, we, we hit a barrier here because we do not know how to calculate our interest expense. And so let me just write down what we are missing currently so in, in the statement. So, so far what I'm missing is our interest expense. And once I have that number here, I can subtract from operating income to get earnings before taxes and obviously I don't know that number either and then I would further deduct my taxes and I will come upon my final line which is net income here but as I said we are pretty much we have a um, barrier here right now that we need to somehow figure out what to do next so we already have used the first givens in our problem, I've made use of sales, I've made use of cost of goods sold and operating expenses. So I, I need to really think carefully. One thing that I, I was given is total number of stocks outstanding and dividends per share for all these stocks. In fact, I should be able to make use of these numbers, right? So I have 22,000 stock, stocks outstanding and each one will receive $1.80 dividend. So from there, I should be able to easily come up with my total dividend payments. So let me open a new page and let me do some additional uh, calculation in that uh, new page. So total dividends paid, let's figure that out. Dividends paid is equal to dividend per share and apparently that number is $1.60 and we have um, 22,000 shares outstanding so the product will give me my dividends paid but why do i do that product uh, well because once i have dividends paid and i know my retained earnings it's given in the problem retained earnings is um let me, let me go previous slide i believe retained earnings was fifty eight thousand dollars so those two figures so this one is fifty eight thousand dollars so those two figures added will give me my net income, right? Because once a company has net income available for its shareholders, what do you do? Some of it we pay out as dividends to our um, shareholders and the rest we retain to grow our company because our company needs to stay uh, competitive against uh, other firms. Uh, so let's move on and let's actually uh, find out what our dividends paid. So 1.6 times 22,000, um, that should, um, uh, I 
think that should give us like what 35 200 I believe um, make sure you redo these calculations on your own when you have time but um, yeah I have a pretty good feeling that's uh, that's what I should get and then adding these two numbers I should get 0 0 oops, 0 2 um, three and uh, nine yes so therefore this is my net income ninety three thousand two hundred let's go to the previous slide and input that number in down and that figure here is ninety oops ninety three thousand two hundred so that's that's really awesome so we're done with our net income now let's work our way upwards uh, so so we, we one by one we will complete every single stage so uh, now we need taxes so do I have any information given regarding what our tax rate is yes of course of course we we know we are in the 34 percent tax bracket so what that means is that because our net income is 93,200 let me open a new page and let me br uh, briefly make some quick calculations so obviously net income is equal to earnings before taxes minus total taxes right and let's rewrite EBT minus how about the tax liability a tax liability is a portion of our earnings before taxes in fact it's the tax rate which is in our case 34 percent times the earnings before taxes so and by the way i already calculated net income to be 93200 just moving things around we just realized that we can group the right hand side it would give us ebt times 1 minus 0.34 equals to that 93200 things so therefore earnings before taxes would be simply equal to 93200 divided by 1 minus 0.34 is simply 0.66 and that will give us our income before taxes or earnings before taxes in the amount of 141212 just uh, making some rounding that's our um, earnings before taxes and let's go ahead and go to the previous slide and input that in huh? so um, that number here is one four one two one two but then it's pretty straightforward to to figure out what taxes is you can either multiply our earnings before taxes by 0.34 or even better you can look at the difference between earnings before taxes and net income because we reach net income by subtracting taxes from earnings before taxes really the difference between these two numbers is the tax value and in that case that would be 48,000 um, um, is it is it twelve dollars yeah yeah obviously two minus two would give you zero one minus one is zero zero two minus zero is a two three yeah we are pretty much that's correct the only piece missing here is interest expense but guess what again the same thing uh, the difference between operating income and earnings before taxes is the interest expense so I can just simply look at the difference between these two numbers and long behold that's what we get so we are done with the first part of our problem we were able to produce our income statement let's move up the second part of the question is asking for operating profit margin that one should take us just a few minutes because obviously operating profit margin is operating profit or you can say operating income divided by total sales so that's a no-brainer so in that case you should get um, I believe 39.5 percent so 1 for 58 divided by 400 will give you the correct choice and finally for times interest earned all you need is operating income again which is 158 remember divided by interest expense in the amount of sixteen thousand seven hundred and eighty eight dollars that one should give you a, a 9.4 times because it's times interest earned this uh, financial ratio is the, the units of this ratio is times, so the answer would be 9.4 times. Let me write that down here. So the answer to the four, uh, part C would give you 9.4 times. And for operating profit margin, recall that we simply divided uh, operating income by sales and we got 39.5%.
and that will complete our solution so we are pretty much done